Greetings comic book fans, this is Blue Goblin with my latest comic book review. And I'm going to be reviewing five books that came out this uh, on this week. So let's just get right to it and you're going to want to stick around for the last book of this review. Trust me. Let's start off with Green Lantern 36. This is part two of the uh, Rage of the Red Lanterns storyline. Now, the Rage of the Red Lanterns one shot was an incredible read, and now, seven years later, we get part two of it. <laughs> Forgive the crude joke, it just seemed like it took forever for this issue of Green Lantern to come out. I was waiting for them to put this issue out for the longest time. It just seemed like it just took endless amounts of time for them to put this book out, and what we got on the delivery just didn't live up to the hype. Although this was still pretty good, it explains the situations with the Blue Lanterns and it explains what happened with Sinestro. This is really good. It's not as action-packed as some hardcore Green Lantern fans like the book to be, but it's it's really good. It's 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 not perfect, <laughs> but still it's still well worth some money. Go ahead and pick it up. It's not bad. Next up. Not too much DC this week for me. We've got Batman. This is number 684. Denny O'Neill, thank you for coming back to the book. Get Grant Morrison out of here because Grant Morrison just makes me scratch my head. I just don't know why. Uh, Batman R.I.P. just did not shock me. They, DC said it will shock you. It didn't shock me. This, just like Detective Comics with, this is... Um, Part two of uh, Nightwing's ordeal with Two Face. Like I said again, DC screwing up this comic. I mean, this is supposed to be Batman. This is. I feel like I'm reading an issue of Nightwing again. This is. I don't like it when DC puts out a book and gives us a completely different character. I mean, this shouldn't even be an issue of Batman. Sorry, DC is really, really screwing up. They're digging their own grave. Well, I wouldn't say they're digging their own grave, but they're certainly digging a hole, and they're not filling it up with treasure, if you know what I mean. Okay, next up, let's go to Marvel, please. Venom Dark Origin number five. Finally, the end of one of my favorite miniseries of 2008. And this was, I, I said it before in one of my older videos, this was some of the best stuff from Venom that I've seen since McFarlane days back in Amazing Spider-Man. This is this is very good. We finally get to see the fight between Peter and Eddie Brock. And um, what else can you say except that it kicks ass? <laughs> it's really good. Decompose. It's finished. Now you can rant on your next video. <laughs> it's very good. It's very, very good. Next... This is a book that I picked up at first just because of the names of the people who were working on it. Kick ass. Mark Millar, John Romita Jr. Enough said. This is issue number five. This is probably the. We're only five issues into this series. This is probably the worst issue out of the series because, like Craig at Grandland, he said there was no blood, there was no Gordon, there was no violence. There was a good, there was good storytelling, but. That's not. That's only half of what makes this book good. The other half is the gruesome violence, and you know some comic book fans like that stuff. I like that stuff. That's just me. But the thing is, <laughs> it says here on the back of the back of the book. I don't know how well you can see it. it says every pull list needs a book like Kick Ass. That's exactly how I feel. This is a good series. You know, hopefully the next issue won't be this slow, and hopefully they'll make this a monthly series because it seems like it does take a long time for them to come out. It's well worth $3 though. It's very good. Now, if you'll pardon me, let me get the next, let me get the last book and I think you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Craig, thanks for giving me props on your last review and now it's time for you to know what I feel about yeah. Wolverine, Old Man Logan, number 70. Son of a bitch. This book is just incredible. <laughs> I picked this up at the comic book shop when I was waiting in line to purchase my books. I peeked at it and I almost went out of, I almost 
walked out of line, and I was just going over and over in my head, damn it, damn it, damn it. This is probably the best issue of Wolverine I've ever read. This should have been released, like you said, in at the end of 2008. That way, 2008 would have gone out with a bang with a book like this. This could very well be the best book of 2009. We're only three days into the new year, like you said. Um, <laughs> I just uh, the guy who runs the comic book shop where I buy my comic books. He peeked at this when it came out of the box, and he looked at it, and he just kept going. Shit. 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 I looked at it, and he sh all he did was shake my hand and said, told you. That's all. I, I want to. I, uh, I can't spoil this. I can't spoil this. I want to, but I can't. I can't. It hurts that I can't. All I'm going to say is that what Wolverine did to Sabretooth in issue 55 of this series is nothing compared to what you see in here. Please. For the love of God, if you read comic books and if you read Wolverine, you've got to find this book and you have to get it. I'm begging you. I just, I feel like running laps. I am so excited about how great this book was. I just can't stand it that I can't spoil it because I know there's probably a lot of people out there who haven't read this book yet. And if you haven't read it, what the hell is your problem? This is this has got to go down as the best Wolverine comic book ever done. I, I know I'm exaggerating when I say something like that, but, man, I'm still trying to get over what I saw in this book. I read this book like, like four or five times, like in the past couple of days prior to this review, in, in the past couple of days, day and yesterday, and, I, and I'm, I still can't get over what I saw. This is just incredible, just incredible. <sighs> Anybody who loves Wolverine will enjoy this. Or anybody who doesn't like Wolverine will just suddenly, just suddenly go, Wolverine kicks a lot of ass. Please, get this book. It's perfect. Just perfect. Well, i got to compose myself, and then I'll get you the next part of my review. So, until I see you again, Blue Goblin saying, later.